So is what's Vana's ag- agility bonus? I've already put it in for. She's got oh, high okay. agility. Oh, oh right, Talia. Uh, Jess, you can do the honors to Talia. Agility for Talia. Just roll the 1d10, I'll add it. Thank you. And sort. Haley, you will get to uh, lead us off. Okay. Um, so, door is open. Ready to go then? All right, I'll draw my uh, Carnadons. Um, for now, uh, I was debating if I should use my synth suit or not. You should what? Sorry? Yeah, I'll activate the uh, synth suit. Synth skin? Mm, stealth, okay. <clears throat> so. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, stealth. Oh, that sucked. Oh, silent. Well, I move quietly. Are you going to fake this uh, concealment? No. Now, you don't get to move as well if you're doing all those other actions. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys can clearly hear as a whale shouting. Her voice sounds a little bit different than before. Uh, those of you who will choose to serve me may be freed and have your opportunity to punish those who would imprison you for petty crimes. Um, the prisoners in the room are cursing and shouting and saying various things, but it's really hard to distinguish anyone's voice amongst the crowd other than Ezra Wales. Uh, Varna will ask Creos, what should I do? Creos, your turn. Oh, this is going to be really stupid of me. This is my turn. Um, does she have any weapons? She has the dog and she has her, um, uh, she has your hell gun. Does she have any weapons of her own? <laughs> you have a last <laughs> Um, I'll say, can you use that L gun? Absolutely. Okay, give me your pistol. Are you going to put that down? She'll come into the mess fucking can. Eventually. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, lean up. I'll lean it up against the wall here. Okay, she will hand you her last pistol. Thank you. Uh, and I guess we'll all move around us towards the door. Uh, you can move uh, three. I, I I linger and stare at the cannon. I'm like, I'll be back soon, I promise. <laughs> Come back, Alex? somebody's stolen it. <laughs> all of a sudden, the greater <laughs> demon of corn. <laughs> Uh, this is probably a really bad idea. <coughs> Straight up running in there. Okay. And as I turn the corner and I turn the corner I, and I see her, I just tell Ezra to halt in the name of the Imperium. Jerry? Um, I'm going in, but as far as I can go. Well, go ahead and move your token uh, as much as 24. Um, uh, so, just a, a little advice. Flanking is a very smart idea. Especially if you can ambush someone from behind. 
Hold on. I think I'm only going to move eight. Well, am I in her view at the moment? No. And then try to move silently. I'm pretty sure I am the center of Ezra's attention right now. I know, but I still want to try to move silently. That doesn't mean that the... Go ahead. Someone's getting texted a lot. Me. I'm playing... It's... There. I suppose I should have done that before I moved at all, but... It didn't Oh, back. no, because you'd still be doing the move anyway, so... Um, already. Uh, Talia's turn. Um... Uh, microbead message to uh, uh, Alexandra saying, what's the status? Um, and she will also be taking a look into the room. I'd be saying I have Ezra right here in front of me. Uh, she seems to be alone. You actually name them? My God, yes. <laughs> Holy Christ. Did oh, she really God. name all of them already? Burn. Holy crap, she did. I like Steve. <laughs> Where's that one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but as soon as I heard Steve, I automatically thought of Borderlands. Uh, I like this Yo. guy, gold guy. <laughs> A guy called Guy. <laughs> well, Grove Marzin definitely looks like a Grove kind of guy. If Chris dies now, Fingers is my backup character. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to break out of the cell. I'm taking over this guy's job. Oh, look, a less cannon. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, it turns out that my, I was never actually playing Krios. I was playing the last cannon. It's like the one ring. <laughs> I just played different characters using this weapon. Vern, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. Uh, I didn't even realize it was my turn. Um, I will be moving to assist... Uh... You're also taking front and center attention. Mm hmm. Oh, thank you for not getting in my line of fire. <laughs> okay, so, um, no, Jess, don't start talking to the NPC. Um, but it is your turn, Shelby. Do you have a uh, jewelry of 40 something? Uh, yeah, so 24 <coughs> in rock. <coughs> Ouch. She's getting, she's getting into melee too? Well, not melee, but like getting right into the face of danger. I'm fine with her taking cover behind me. Okay. Uh, it will be the prisoner's turn. Uh, we lost someone again from the call. I think it's oh, just another hiccup on Frosty. Frosty. Um, they're, they're shouting, they're screaming. Um, now that you're actually in the room, those of you who are, you can actually hear them uh, cursing uh, Ezra Whale not saying they're going to listen to her. Uh, most of them actually are holy pilgrims. And uh, they are saying if we have been um, brought to justice by the Arbites of the Imperium, then it is their uh, emperor's will that we be here. And we will not, uh, you know, uh, uh, break from the natural order of the Imperium. 
Oh, Haley. Mm. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That was Haley's turn. <laughs> Someone appears to be singing. Sorry. Okay, Haley's doing the run action. Yep. Okay. As Rowell is doing a charge onto Alex. All right. Would you like to make an attempt to dodge or parry? Uh, I can't parry with my shotgun. Sure you can. I'm not going to, so I'm going to try dodge. I have a better chance with my dodge anyway than my parry. So that's a plus 10. So I have a 40, I have 53 DC for this dodge. <laughs> Who cares more for a weapon than their own well-being? That's just selfish. <laughs> Well, uh, I'll take that hit to figure out what's going on, what she's going to try to hit me with. Okay. Uh, VT, could you kick my character oh, yeah, out? Sorry. There? Yeah, no problem. Fucking connection. There you go. Okay, thanks. Uh, I see she, what she hits me with can penetrate my Xeno mesh. It goes through like. Uh, I don't like that. To bother. I don't like that. I don't like two d tens. And so that'll be um, thirteen pen six. Pen six. So yep. that pierces my. Oh, arm. And uh, the hit location uh, with the twenty eight is. Um, Right leg. Right leg? Uh, I think you just lost your right leg. No, I have 17 health. But I only have three armor, so that easily penetrates. What's your toughness bonus? Three. It, no, toughness is two, actually. Sorry. Ew. Yeah, that's why I don't like to get into melee. That's why I stopped and away here from her. Here you so are, in melee. Because <laughs> I, I stopped away from her. I thought she was going to go at Vern, hopefully, because she was the closer target. You were the first one. You're yeah. the one. <laughs> yeah. So, in any event, you uh -huh. take 11 wounds. Okay. Where exactly did she Ow. hit me with? Uh, roll an awareness. Power sword, it sounds like. <coughs> That's what it sounds like to me. That's exactly it. <laughs> nope, she used that uh, little rock. Oh! Fuck this bitch! She got the rock? She's like glowing like purple. It's glowing. Well, fuck this bitch. Fuck this bitch and fuck the rock. But you can't stop the rock. Can't stop the rock. <laughs> okay. I knew you were going there. Okay. <laughs> so did you record your damage? Yeah, I'm down to six. I, I see that. Uh huh. Oh, sorry. Um, der. It is uh, Varna's turn. Uh, what did she? I still ask Krios. Uh, what do you need me to do? What should I do? Um, can I hear the combat? Or if I can, can I hear, see it? Roll an awareness. You pretty much heard Alexander scream out loud. Yeah, that's fine. I feel like I can't see it because I'm around the corner. Um. I think I'll, well, I can't lead by example because she's before me. Um, uh, Fergus, go. Get stuck in. Let's let's go help. Okay. So uh, when it's your go, uh, where are you going? Um, well, I'm going to go around there, see there's a, a fist fight going on that I can't really shoot into. So I'll move the rest of my movement forwards. Okay. How long? How how much can I move for that with the uh, running? 
Is that 11 oh, or 12? Do a full, you want to do a full run? Uh, uh, full run might as well, yeah. Oh, wow. She'll come right around two. This is Power Puppy. And Power Puppy can move even further. And it cannot attack, but it can get into melee as well. Uh, Alex. Uh, I'm trying to look for the wolves exactly if it's possible for me to like do a five foot step and then fire at her. It's something similar to like no, that. No, you can't do both. You can do a disengage. Um, although, did I give you hit and run? Uh, yeah, you gave me hit and run. Or oh, at least hip shooting. Um, hit and run, yeah. So that was all disengages with your you, full you speed. You may do a half run. action disengage done. Um, but you have to be operating your jump pack. That's fine. I don't want to get into melee okay. with her. So give me a pilot roll. I don't know what that is right now. So, uh, just roll that. Go off of that. Okay. So, yes, you may do a one step. Uh, you move. You may move. Um, actually, because you're using the jump pack, you may jump back as much as six feet or six meters. I'll do that. To so, like right right here. Oh fuck! <laughs> okay, and that's gonna be my move. And because it's you used the jump pack, you still have a half action. Uh, you're gonna do just a half aim with my shotgun at her. Okay. Uh, oh, you don't have a melee weapon anymore. Yeah, I gave you my chainsword, and my and my uh, shotgun doesn't make a very good club. It can be used as one; it's just not very good at it. I don't think I want to get that close to the crazy lady. <laughs> you have your revolver. If you don't mind, almost accidentally shooting Fergus. I there's a reason. Fergus is a smaller target. Actually, I should. Uh mention that size yes but with a, shoot Fergus, I, look, I would, <laughs> I would be upset I look, I'd miss so bad I'd hit Alex or Varna in front of me so I'm gonna go with my original plan yeah if you hit Varna or Fergus you piss off me and that means you piss off the last cannon <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, of course that's of course that don't short fucking went in the middle wait uh, who did you hit what oh, nothing uh, Frosty, you said you had to get going soon, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I can do this like turn to the end, then I need to get going. Okay. Um, just wondering, this is a combat. Does everybody else want to keep going through with the combat? And Frosty, how do you feel if we MPC Vern for this? Well, you probably know what uh, Vern will do if you NPC. Probably just Empty the fucking clip on her. <laughs> because uh, she showed herself to be a uh, threat at aggressive. Sorry, go ahead, Frosty. Uh, Frosty, can you... I said that I think you can uh, NPC Vern quite easily since she showed that she is hostile and aggressive when not that so Vern would probably just empty everything on her okay um so Kiri did a run action mm -hmm. all right Talia the only one left in the hallway Shelby I swear to the emperor you better not get hurt Vern, uh, you uh, can at least do your first attack roll. Uh -huh. So uh, I'm guessing you want to do uh, what? With your combat shoddy or with your dum-dum uh, -dum gun? You can tell Ezra Whale's wearing armor. What kind of armor? Uh, very ornate. Uh, her head is unprotected. Um, but it's uh, at the very least some kind of flak, maybe some kind of mesh. Okay. Fuck it. Shotgun to the face. Are you actually calling shot to the face? 
Yes, because I don't All see right. any kind of goddamn protection there. So, right. So negative twenty for a headshot, unless you don't. Do you have something like? Uh, say you don't have any special ballistics. Uh, you have a mighty shot. Hmm? But uh, yeah, uh, nothing negative... that helps with aiming. Yeah. Yeah. So plus thirty for being so close. Negative twenty for calling the shot. So plus ten. Uh, you. Uh, you don't have any add-ons on that shotgun, right? No, it's just compact. Okay, and what type of modifier were you using? Oh. You can do like a semi-auto, a full auto. Well, I, I don't think it's even capable of full auto, but it can do a single shot or a semi. No, semi. Okay, so I think it's three clip or three shots per uh, burst. So give me your D100 for your short burst. Okay, so uh, uh, ballistics of 59 minus 34. So cold shot to the head. You get to deal um, the damage. Uh, well, actually, she gets her opportunity to dodge first. Mm-hmm. If the... She won't be attempting a dodge. She'll be attempting something a little different. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. Uh, oh, carry the shotgun uh, with your face. Failure. Cripes. Uh, yeah, so uh, three uh, hits to the face. 1d10 plus your damage. Remember, you have mighty shot. And mm -hmm. do that whole thing three times. So, didn't... D10 plus 5, D10 plus 5. Yes. All right, roll to confirm. Oh, God, that's two righteous furies. Yes, that's why I'm saying roll to confirm. Do I need to roll for the bolt separately? No, no, just once. Just once. If you confirm once, you confirm infinitely for that attack. That's a confirmation. Now you may roll another D10, uh, two more D10s separately. <laughs> so the first shot does 18 damage. The second shot does... 23 damage, and the third shot does 8 damage before reduction of armor and toughness, except she's not wearing armor in the face. So... Mm. Splat. <laughs> um, the head disappears. <clears throat> uh, uh, pretty much, yes. Uh, and because if only she had made that roll instead of getting that miserable 89... <sighs> Let me guess, she would have tried to take Fergus and use it as a shield. Not Fergus. Something far worse. I don't like that. I don't like that. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to treat this as explosive damage at this point. Um... All right, boss time, and she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> ah, um, Vern, you're you're a scary mofo. You now have a fear one rating. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. God. The okay. prisoners are all immediately. Just like uh, screaming about you being the emperor's vengeance and uh, being absolutely terrified of the um, arbitrator who just flew another arbitrator. Um, although that is just an eruption of gore splashes out in this direction, and um, as well. Have this body falls to the floor, 
dropping the items that she was previously holding. I ain't touching that rock. And you just feel an overwhelming sense of dread in this room right now, Shelby. Wait a second. What's Ezreal doing with the rock when when uh, Zilla Zephyr was supposed to be the one carrying the rock? Yeah, well, give, well done for finally realizing that. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Anyway, and, I, uh, I really need to get going now. Yeah, so congratulations, Frosty, on once again annihilating a target with nothing but a combat shotgun. Jerk. Mm. Leave well, some for like the rest. You said, like you said... Unless it's wearing an armor, I can do that. <laughs> okay, That's why I aim uh, to head. Uh, Shelby, also give me one more D100, please. Yeah. The Imperial Man seems to have a really big issue of, not, of having important people not wear helmets. Anyway, I need to get going. Yeah, See you guys later. Okay. Thanks, Rusty. Bye. See ya. She, remember, she wasn't wearing a helmet because she was dressed for the... Um, dinner party mm. and uh, there's my message for Jess do I know that combat's over well no technically it's not necessarily over yet Shelby still has a very important decision to make so we just I hate this for now. I hate to say this guys but I think we might still have to get to the Gala field uh, so I just sent a message to Jess that something Shelby knows. Does Shelby tell us this? Oh, wait. <laughs> exactly. This is annoying beyond like 80 million, like 800 million percent. Why is the mute always the one learning all these things? Why is the mute so damn smart about psychic -y shit? <laughs> The only experience my character has with that crap is that she doesn't like it. It's a weapon. And That's pretty much how it is for the mass majority of the Imperium. And gosh darn it, her parents made her learn how to fight against it. Shelby, for God's sake, if you touch that and something happens. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of hope they. Uh, well, I. Uh, uh, if Shelby I goes for the rock, I'm putting my shotgun at her. I'm not joking. If Shelby goes for that rock, I'm putting my shotgun. You don't at know her. what the rock is. I we know saw it. What it she I knew that fucking thing could cut my leg open. I think so wait, it she's taking off her left glove. Put it on her right hand over her right. She's double gloving. Okay. Practice safer sex. I mean... Now, if there were latex, that would be a horrible idea because you double glove latex, it will deteriorate. They stick, it sticks to itself. <laughs> oh, heck, all Alexandra knows about that rock is that it just open a massive lay hole in her right leg and she knows that's not natural and it stings like a bitch um, although at the same time that stinging sensation is also kind of pleasurable I don't like that <laughs> I would just like to say on the, on the topic of it not being natural you are in space okay just give me another willpower roll please yeah. wow um, Uh, what is thy command, thy master?
Yes, I know, but she's also psychic. <laughs> oh, excellent. Okay. Um, uh, the pilgrims are still very, very much upset, but uh, praying loudly. Haley. Still proceeding because you don't realize. Understandable. Uh, Uh, no, your your entire turn was spent doing what you were doing with the stone. Um, Ezra's not doing anything anymore. <laughs> the dog will uh, bite at the corpse and growl and you know, basically try to um, tear off a limb <laughs> as uh, Barnett ends her weapon and shows to Shelby, get out of the way! Chaos. Um, I, I, I go and get my last cannon back. <laughs> As you're walking past Varna, she'll be like, "What? What? What's? Wait, what? It, it's done? It, it's over?" Uh, here's your gun. Thanks. <laughs> she, she'll just look kind of stunned. Krios um, looks equally stunned. <laughs> Is he walking, running, or what? Actually, he's going to keep the pistol just in case, but he is, uh, yeah, just walking. Okay. She's just Alex. going to, uh, Alex is just going to put herself up against the wall and after the fight's all over and speak out loud, wait, there's two Vox? What? I want to uh, awareness to hear if I can hear Alex. Yes, yes, go ahead. Because that would would influence what I would do. You're aware from what the uh, pilgrims are saying that Ezra is quite dead and missing her head. And um, you even overhear one of the pilgrims uh, saying, one of them's an imperial psyker and she's taking that stone. Hey, how oh wait you probably have some kind of she took her glove off and when she took her glove off it revealed the emblem of the uh, psychana on her okay. palm or back of her palm or whatever you call it back of her hand oh right it's, it's on both it's on the palm and the back of the hand uh, just in case you weren't sure after the first one or what Talia will run up Shelby and say what are you doing why are you touching that I thought you said it was evil Vern will just uh, smile to himself and load in the uh, three shells that he uh, fired and uh, cock the shotgun and say, uh, that's how the, uh, well, that's how I get things done. Shelby. It's going to roll for Vern here. Vern will be able to <laughs> observe the message. Uh, peasants continue to pray. Haley. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Huh. For the Imperium! Oh. <laughs> Still running? Yeah, she'll stop for a second. Like, uh, and then just kind of jog over. And so the corpse continues to bleed onto the floor. The Farna will call for uh, Fergus to return. He comes back with a foot. <laughs> Yeah. 
she, she's going to follow Prios wherever Prios may go. Whoa, talk about dog. It's good to have friends. Not ones that creepily stalk you with their dog. And unless, unless anyone wants to take some sort of action in a combat phase, we can end combat there. No, I'm just going to... Yeah, okay. She's going to repeat again. Wait a second. There's two walks. Se- one? Wait, there's two walks? I thought there was only one. And two? I think I need a medic for my leg. Uh, Arnold will look to Krios and say, should we help her? Uh, uh, <laughs> Can you get my gun, please? I'll go help her. Oh, that gun. Right. Okay. She'll put down the other ones in the corner and tell Fergus to guard them, and then she'll go running around the corner. And you hear her pick it up and then drop it. Delicate (laughs) Super Saiyan. Uh, I'm going to pat Fergus on the head and then go and help. Give a Medicaid roll to uh, Alexandra. That's my third roll of 99 or 100 tonight. <laughs> can I How many sp- points does Krios have? Oh, I, I've spent them. Can I spend a fate what? point on him to re-roll that? Krios only has two fate points. Yep. <coughs> yeah. Uh, my goodness, my can goodness. Can I spend it? A- no, he's you can't. Using- oh, he's using it on me. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I know, uh, but that's not the issue. Critical fails on Medicaid tests are bad. Uh, what did you just fucking do to my bad. leg? Just a second, <laughs> let's find out. I was looking for your, this is, this like, is, this, main I I servo route for this joint. Fungy. Sorry, I'm very sorry, Fungi. I just have to say this. I am very, very amused that a Bobob's characters are constantly harmed by other player characters. <laughs> but uh, you may now say you're witty retort. I'm very sorry. Nah, I just don't know. God damn it. Every time my character's going to lead this campaign, it's going to be due to friendly actions. It's not even friendly fire. It's just them trying to help me. I, I can cut the leg off if you'd rather. No, I'd rather not pay for a biotic limb. Thank you very much. Those are rather expensive. I can well, cauterize it if you want my gun. No. Then shall I continue? I just need to know exactly what happens and how much more damage does my right leg take. Well, I, was, I, was, I was looking for like the, the wiring and all the... I'm uses, organic. I have no implants. I am 100% human. Then there's nothing I can do to help you, you poor, <laughs> poor person. <laughs> How do you live like this? Roll 1d5, please, Fungi. Oh, thank God. It's not going to give me a critical wound. So it's uh, two further points of damage not reduced by toughness. No, that, that's fine. At least I still don't have any critical wounds. Oh, I hit an artery. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so Haley's uh, saying, hey, you there to someone? Yep. To uh, Amy is her name, apparently. <laughs> okay, uh, she's like, hello? Do you happen to have any holy regents? No, they, they took those when they put me in here. Ah, I understand. What, may I ask, is taking place? If that is within my rights. You're better off not knowing. I understand. I'll pray to the emperor. But they're all witnesses. We need to kill them all. Haley, you start first. Shoot and, the light, uh, Haley. So, shoot the light. Uh, <laughs> Talia will respond to Shelby. 
saying, uh, so we need to get that into a viral query, I take it. Um, we definitely need to get in touch with the Inquisitor. I, I, I've never had to deal with something like this before. Wow. Um, <clears throat> if you want to stay well away from Shelby, and Shelby, I, I'm really sorry to do this to you, but we are going to have to keep ourselves vigilant against you. Um, please hand me your Psychana blade. Everybody automatically cocks the weapon and points it at Shelby. Chainsaw Uh, Talia just issued a summary execution order on Shelby if something goes weird. No, I'm asking that in character. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, we, we are not going to discuss this in this room because I do not want to damn the souls of all these pilgrims. We are going to exit this room, but I am going to thank you, Shelby. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm very sorry, Shelby. She, she she genuinely says sorry as she puts the blade uh, basically to Shelby's throat and says, uh, let's start walking, Shelby. You guys go on ahead. I am going to take care of this little mess here. For some wait, wait, what, what do you mean? I point to the clothes. Oh. Um, yes, uh, Krios, we're going to need that flamethrower again. I need some regents, though. Uh, yes. Um, Where would they be uh, kept? Find, find one person that you can trust among the pilgrims and have them get you the regents. I already asked one of them that uh, all of their possessions were taken, so there's got to be a storage oh, area okay. somewhere. Alex, do you know where they would have taken the items? Uh... Just out of my guess would either probably be in, let's see here, what would be the most logical thing? It would either be the starboard armory, I'm probably guessing that. Just because or the magistrate's office. Oh, it's either be, no, evidence locker I'm probably guessing would probably be either, either mixed in the offices up here or probably near here. Allow me to remind you that in the port armory you found a last cannon marked evidence. Okay, so probably the starboard armory then. Uh, if Krios, if it's out of power and Krios helps open that, I can help that, but I need a little bit of help walking so we can get those doors open. Should George do another Medicaid? Yeah, thank you. I just swing my right arm around Kiri and just let her guide me toward the armory. So I, just, so I don't have to put any weight on my right leg. Bird, okay, I'll, uh, I'll uh, I can't wait for Frosty to witness this. Uh, <laughs> what happened? Okay. And of course, Fergus. Uh, well, um, uh, where, where where is the Mechanicus fellow? Okay. Bungie, sorry. Uh, what were you up to? Well, though I was trying to fix her leg, but she's fucked off. So. So yeah, that and you know your role was a ninety-nine. She doesn't trust you with fixing her, touching her leg right now. Cool. Bleeding out is always an option. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I'm at the point of willing to bleed out. <laughs> I'm just gonna I have don't to know. I'm just gonna settle for the possibility of infection at this point rather than have you touch my leg again. Uh, funeral. Stick with us if you want to torch something. Well actually he doesn't have the sling door anymore. He gave that to Varna. Ah. Oh yeah. Oh, no, has so I, that, that was on the ground where the dog was, but uh, look, just to uh, simplify things, we will find the necessary regions in the starboard armory. Um, Is there a uh, second line? We'll explain to Vern and anyone else who is out in the hall that um, what they have in their possession is a demon-possessed relic, and we need to contact superiors in the Inquisition as soon as possible. So our next objective is to find the Caspian McNellis device and toss it and make sure that he lets us send that message. Preferably we'll leave him alive so that he can operate the device properly um, and we can just hope and trust that he's going to cooperate considering what we read in his journal. He'll probably be appreciative of the fact that we have defeated Villa and 
captured what it was that granted Zilla her powers. And um, we'll allow the Inquisition to determine his fate. Um, unless, of course, he attempts to harm us, in which case we will kill him outright. Okay, out of curiosity, is there any kind of clearly marked uh, evidence weapons in this room, like a second last cannon for Krios? There is no last cannon, but give me a roll. Okay. Awareness! There will be... Um, Multi melter? No, no, no. <laughs> um, Bane blade. <laughs> <laughs> Creed. Yeah, I was gonna say, if I had one of those in there. That'd be impressive. Um, and there's just like little, there's just a sign there. It's like this will come in handy later. Trust me, Creed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we lost quick. Uh, heavy stab. <coughs> heavy stab. Uh, I'm not gonna tell Vern about that. <laughs> Let's go, Kiri. March. Um, did did the armory we were in have facilities to, to fix a weapon? There, there would have been some tools and whatnot. Yes. Then I'll follow them to the other armory, assuming that there's one there as well. Yeah, but these are very simple tools, not the kind of tools you need to uh, evoke the level of repairs you require. Um, well, it's just a start. What, uh, where, where's Brooke gone? Uh, she just DC'd. I think she, I think she had an in and a hiccup or something. I'm sending her a message in uh, Skype. Oops, Skype. Skype seems to be frozen now. Can anyone hear? You? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Okay. Uh, Brooke's back on Skype. Welcome back. You there? Uh, yes, I don't know. I don't have a clue what was going on. I think you had a hiccup. Sorry, um, so did you hear what uh, was revealed about the stone? No. Brooke? No. Was that a no? That is correct. I did not hear. Okay. Sally was saying that it's a demon-possessed relic and that um, we need to contact superiors of the Inquisition to come pick us up because we don't have the capacity to handle something like this. So for now, Shelby's going to hold it. Tally is going to hold a knife to Shelby's neck. And um, it's a very uncomfortable thing, but it's the best we can do at this time. Uh, they are looking for Holy Regents to bless the Flamer one last time to uh, purge Ezra's body. Uh, <clears throat> and our uh, new primary target is Tossit, and we need to get him, get the uh, Cast and Ignalius device that he has in his possession, and instruct him to use it to contact the Inquisition for us, and um, that way we can uh, have them come pick us up. Uh, if he tries anything, we kill him. Any questions? Uh, no. Well, we already ha well, we already have an idea of where he's going. Do we? Well, if he wasn't with the pirate lady, he obviously went to the one with the teleporter. Not a bad bit of advice. Um, I still want to check out the um, killer field generator, though. Um, although I guess I'll have to send you to go do that because in Shelby's current state, I'm not sure we should get too close to that device. I... Actually, on second thought, maybe that would be the best place. Maybe we can actually keep the stone in the Geller field. <laughs> I 
<laughs> so <retarded>. Uh, Krios, <laughs> is that a good idea? Uh, let's find out. I don't think I know much about demons. And you can't really plug them in. But it was, it, would the Gela device work the way she's suggesting? As a, just as a right hypothesis. Then. In that case, I'm going to say no. Krios, you are no expert on demonology, but if a Geller field is designed to keep demons of the warp out of the materium, then a demon already in the materium put near a Geller field, theoretically, it might prevent it from escaping to the warp, or theoretically might force it into the warp. Well, a Geller field is like, uh, it's like a wall around a ship. So imagine the Geller field around the ship as a, a wooden wall around the town. Uh, like keep, keeping this inside where the Geller field is maintained is like keeping the is like keeping someone you don't want in the town in the room inside the town full of axes to chop down the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's already That's within what? the field. Also, we're not in the warp, so the Geller field isn't even active. But um, Krios wouldn't have all that knowledge. Well, as a player, it's all fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, as I understand it, if a Geller field is reactivated while demons are on the ship, it will force them out because they need the connection to the warp to stay manifest. Yes, but that doesn't count for Possession. demons that are possessing things. If it's just a raw demon that's been summoned, it will get drawn back. If it's something that's been done, uh, what's the word? Like chained to a device. Yeah, like a demon weapon. Yeah, the demon weapon won't suddenly be um, exercised. Right. But uh, would it perhaps have its powers reduced for lacking its connection to the warp? Um, I've never. Anything like that, but I could be wrong. <laughs> but that's just it. None of your characters know either. So, yeah. So we just gotta go with this insanely, possibly really retarded sounding idea. And she is the acquisition, so we actually have to go with her idea. <laughs> but uh, in any event, uh, Haley, please give me your roll for blessing the weapon. Oh, by the way, when I was in there, when we were getting the holy regions and stuff Eating. around, did I see any uh, any more melter, uh, not melter, uh, flamer canisters? It's intelligence plus 10 for creed, right? Yes. Okay, it's a pass. Uh, but there is also the modifiers that reduce it. Oh, then yeah, I'll fade it. <sighs> wow. Well, that's actually, this could be interesting. This could be very interesting. Holy fire, oh. bitch. Off by 12. Um, and I think that's only two fate points from you, Haley? Yep. God damn. Um, and go ahead and roll uh, 1d10 for the damage. <laughs> well, you do make uh, the body quite toasty. Um, you use up the last of the fuel. The organic parts of the body look to be burnt down pretty well. Uh, the skeleton is still mostly intact, charred. The armor is completely intact. Uh, though the cloth obviously burns up. So what are we going to do with these then? Um, do you have enough to uh, enough regents to cast last rites? You would Probably have. If not, I can just go back. So yeah. All right, and you want to give the last rites to the corpse? Okay. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to damn her soul to the warp. I don't want to cause some shit to fuck up because I fucked up. 
you feel confident that uh, if there was any taint left in this body, you have laid it to rest. All right, that's done. <laughs> and I. Uh, You're dead. That's should... good. Amen. <laughs> Call it a night here, unless there was something any of you as players or as characters wanted to do first. Uh. Suggest I'm gonna pass hand over. I don't want to go back walking back over there, so I'm just gonna ask uh, Haley if she's willing to take my pass to get back into the army to fill up on regents and maybe a couple more. If there's any flamer canisters in there, fill up on those in case we need to purge or anything else like that again. All right. I'll take the regents, but I'll give the flamer to someone else. I can go okay. and carry the flamer fuel. Since other than to maybe beat someone with, they're not good for much of anything in my in my case. Oh, except for I'm probably holding up Alexander. Never mind, I can't help you. Well, I mean, I'd, probably, uh, you just, I'd probably give it back to Varna. Okay. And uh, I guess that will be uh, the night we call. Okay. All right. Once again, thank everybody, and we will reconvene on the 24th. Okay.